Hi and welcome to the 5 Minute Safety Series. My name is Michael Terry, I'm from Momentum Safety and Ergonomics and in this series we're going to be tackling some key health and safety topics and we're going to try and cover it in 5 minutes. So our first health and safety topic is going to be work health and safety legislation in Australia. In Australia we have two different types of legal systems that operate. We have our statutory law which includes our acts and regulations etc and we have common law which is the workers entitlement to make claims against their employer for perceived negligence. Now common law works when an injury has been sustained by a worker and they've been able to return to work uh, in to their previous capacity. In this situation through generally through the workers compensation systems they will make a claim against their employer for perceived negligence. That negligence may present itself in the form of lack of appropriate systems or an unsafe workplace, uh, workplace, for example, slippery floor. Now that claim will be settled legally either in or out of court and either in favour or not for the worker. Statutory law works differently. So in statutory law we have work health and safety legislation which will be our main focus today but we'll also include things like uh, chain of responsibility, which is our heavy vehicle reg, uh, legislation, fire safety, dangerous goods, building codes, all of these things will have uh, impacts on health and safety. Now for the health and safety legislation itself we have three different levels. We have the Act, which is the I guess the overarching uh, principles. We have the regulations which are more the rules and the codes of practice which are more the guidance documents. Let's have a look at each one of those and just see what we can take away as, as practitioners. Okay, so the Act includes things like work health and safety duties. These are pretty critical and we're going to be covering those uh, in, a, in a later video. We have duties for the workplace itself, for officers which would be senior managers as well as workers. Other things that are covered under the Act will include things like incident notification, consultation as well as the general workplace uh, health and safety enforcement system as well. The regulations include things like uh, different types of risks, these might be uh, first aid, falling objects, those sorts of things, uh, high risk work such as confined spaces, noise, uh, working at heights, those types of things and specific chapters for things like hazardous chemicals, asbestos, uh, construction work and really a whole lot more. There's a lot of information in the work health and safety regulations and frankly it's really hard to find and even when you do find it it's not always easy to read. The codes of practice on the other hand are much easier. They are distinct and discrete documents that cover topics such as first aid, manual tasks, noise, confined spaces, those types of things. Now the codes of practice are written in plain English but also have references to the acts and regulations where required. So hands down the codes of practice are the best place to go to if you're looking for information on health and safety legislation and best practice on a particular topic. Alright so let's just have a quick look at the main takeaways from what we've discussed today. We have in Australia work health and safety law which includes statutory legislation as well as common law entitlements. Our legislation will include acts, regulations and codes of practice and these are all enforced by state governments. When it comes to us finding information out about health and safety laws, the codes of practice are definitely the best place to go to. As I said, they have plain English uh, versions or um, descriptions of the different health and safety topics but also clear references to the uh, legislation where appropriate. So thanks so much for listening to this five minute safety presentation on work health and safety legislation in Australia.